All right, so, so this is going to be a video, a pretty short video on how to calculate disease scores in SPSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to click on Analyze, we click on Analyze, and we're going to go to Descriptive Statistics, and then we are going to go down to Descriptives. Okay, so I'm going to display variable names by right-clicking, and then I'm going to look for the variable Educ, that's education, so number of years in school. Um, because that's an interval ratio level variable, and obviously what we we're talking about with the with the normal distribution, um, that is um, only applicable to interval ratio level data. So I'm going to come over here and we'll click Educ, and then go here, and now all I have to do is come over to this bottom left hand corner and click Save Standardized Values as Variables. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to press OK. Now, what this has done for me now is it has provided me with both the mean and the standard deviation. Now, what I could do, this is going to be the long way to do this, what I could do is I could go back to this data view, look at the first person's education levels, just say this person, um, the first respondent, had eight years of education, which means obviously they're below the mean of 13.71, so we, they'd have a negative z-score, so we'd have eight, that we'd obviously subtract it by 13.71, we would get negative 5.71, and then we would divide that by the standard deviation. I believe the standard deviation was 3.039, and then that would give, I'm just doing it in my calculator, but that would give me a z-score of negative 1.88. Now, that, that's the long way to do this, but the other way that you can do that is once we produce this, okay, and what SPSS also did is it created a whole new variable out of the variable educ, okay? So what it did is it created a variable called z educ, and that's actually, if you scroll to the far right, it'll be the last um, variable, and it'll provide the z-score for each one of these respondents. So we see the first respondent had a uh, education level of eight years of education, Okay, so below the mean. And then when I hand calculated it with the formula, if you all remember, I'll just put it up here on this board. The z-score formula was z is equal to the raw score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. We know that this individual's raw score, this individual's raw score was 8 minus the mean, which is 13.8. 71 divided by 3.039. Now, 8 minus 13.71 would give you negative 5.71. And then when you do this division, what you would get here is you would get a z, which is equal to negative 1.88. Okay. Now, Having said that, we know that that first respondent's z value is negative 1.88. So what we do if we scroll over to the right side, we're going to see a z value which is equal to negative 1.88, um, and then you know, obviously it goes to 0, 0.42. But obviously the standard normal table that we look at in Appendix B for our textbook actually doesn't go that far, so we're just going to round to uh, two decimals. So yeah, and then obviously the z-score for the next respondent um, would be 10. So that person's uh, z-score for that raw score of 10 would be negative 1.22. Um, yeah, so, that, so it just provided the z-scores for each individual respondent. And that's how you go about calculating uh, z-scores um, in SPSS.